We have prayed to the Minecraft gods and the Minecraft gods have answered. Season 3 Fauna Fair is finally here, bringing some long awaited updates to the game. What's up guys, Manitude here, back at it again with another video. If you like Minecraft Dungeons content and would like to stay up to date with all the latest news, be sure to subscribe. The Season 3 Fauna Fair update came with a few game updates that we've all been waiting for. These are some things that I have been asking for in many of my videos in the past. First off, we finally have multiplayer in the tower, which I will be exploring more in another video co-starring my girlfriend. So be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that video. We also got the long awaited enchantment, but how does this new merchant work and how do you get him for yourself? Well, here's how. You'll be located at your base camp with the other merchants, but you first have to find him to unlock him. In order to find him, you need to load up the mission High Block Halls. This will also have a little merchant icon by it to help you out. You don't have to have it set to the highest difficulty, so be sure to do yourself a favor and knock it down a few notches. Once you load up that mission, you want to progress until you get to the first resource chest. From there, it is super easy. Here he is on the map. Just continue moving forward, dodging and running past all the mobs until you see him trapped right here. All you have to do is talk to him and set him free. That's it. You now have the new enchantsmith merchant unlocked. Now you can just pause the game and return to camp. You don't even have to finish the mission. After you get back to the base camp, your new merchant will be located right here by the ancient hunts entrance. The enchantsmith will let you reroll a single enchantment on a piece of gear for a random new one. You're able to reroll as many times as you'd like, and you can even reroll other enchantments on the same piece of gear as well. It doesn't lock you into just that one enchantment once you reroll something, which is nice. What is not nice though is the price. You have to pay with gold, which can only be found in the Ancient Hunts game mode, and these prices are steep. For example, I rerolled this enchantment on this level 207 Ancient Bow, and it cost me 250 gold. You get a completely random enchantment as well, so you can be spending thousands of gold to just get the right one you need. The prices do vary depending on the rarity and level of the equipment though, but not by much. And it looks like the price caps at a whopping 250 gold per enchantment reroll. Luckily for you, I made an easy gold farming guide that you can find right here. Be sure to give that video a watch if you plan to spend a lot of time at this merchant. I'm hoping in the future they will adjust these prices down so that it would make more sense to use this brand new merchant because you're going to have to be spending just as much time or more grinding ancient hunts getting all of the gold you need if you are unlucky with the enchantment rerolls. I think he will be a niche merchant at best and definitely one more for the end game. What do you guys think about the new enchantsmith merchant? Will you use him at all? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.